Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to the podcast. Now, today's question comes from a basketball trainer in Milwaukee. All right. He asked me, he said, Hey, Ben, I'm just starting my business and I'm considering taking out a business loan to uh, use to get a gym. And I asked him, like, once he sent me that text, I asked him, well, how many clients are you training? And he said, I'm just starting my business. Um, and then he went on to say he's considering either getting a partner or taking out a loan. And um, I went on to explain to him everything that I'm going to explain in this video. And a quick disclaimer here. My, my response to this is... Um, I think very conservative about um, risk with your business and gambling. And I try to take the most logical approach when I think about these things because I've seen so many people who've reached out to me who have taken business loans, who have uh, gone into business with other partners that um, don't have good outcomes. And then they come to me and they ask me, well, what should I do now? So here's something that um, I think has really helped me. And I think this will help you if you're considering taking a, a loan or having a partner. And here's what it is. If you're just starting your business, you should not try to get money or, or be in debt to anybody. Um, it, I, I strongly uh, encourage everybody to not have a partner at the beginning of your business. Don't get a business loan. Um, don't put yourself in a position where right when you start your business, you automatically owe people money. And the reason why is because you haven't proven the concept yet. You haven't proven to yourself that you can actually get clients. And there's nothing worse uh, than starting a business without the proven concept and then now you have this this huge pressure on your shoulders to pay back a loan or like the partner that is is putting up the money uh you know you owe him interest right so this is why i'm a big believer at the very beginning of your business do everything solo go make money don't ask for people to, to give you money. Don't ask the bank to give you money. Um, prove it to yourself that you can get clients. And in the future, if you're going to get a gym, for sure, like I, it would be smart to get a business loan because you already have money that's coming in from your clients. I, I have zero problem with people who do that. Um, I think that can be a really smart thing if you already have clients and you need you know, a lot of money and you want to, you want to take a loan. No, no problem doing that. If you have clients, if you don't have clients, you should not even, that shouldn't even be on your radar. And one thing I would say is a lot of people try to take the easy way out at the very beginning of their business and they wait and they say, well, I need, I need a partner with this or, or I need a loan in order for me to get started. That is not the, the proper way to start your business. The proper way to start your business is to understand what is the problem you're solving. Go solve that problem. And when you solve that problem, you get paid in exchange for solving that problem. And when you are when you do that and you start to get good at that, you start generating income without having uh, a loan or without having a partner who's trying to put up money for you. Don't wait for that sort of stuff and i would encourage anyone who's listening to this right now don't just go get a, a loan um like you need to prove to yourself that you can get clients and getting a loan when you after you have clients to me that makes sense so i hope this helps don't put yourself uh don't put yourself or your family or your business at risk at the beginning unless you've already proven to yourself that you have clients, right? And I've worked with a lot of people who have facilities, right? Those people who have facilities that are really successful, you know why they're really successful? It's because they got clients way before they ever got their facility, all right? Hopefully that helps, and uh, see you later.